in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Excel to keep track of my savings goals. I don't want to just work on one goal. I want to have a few goals on the go. So I have this spreadsheet with up to three. So there is a blank version of this spreadsheet, but it doesn't really mean much in blank format. So I've done an example here just to show you guys. So these spreadsheets are designed to be used for a period of one year. So if you have a bigger goal, like you're saving for a house deposit, which will take you a number of years, just decide how much you want to save for the current year. And that's what you would put in this spreadsheet. So I much prefer to just do one year, just break it down. It's a bit more manageable. It's not as overwhelming. Um, I have up to three in the spreadsheet, which we can compare all at once. So if you're focusing maybe too much on one goal and not enough on the other. Um, the other reason that I switched to Excel, not only just for easy comparison, when you're doing multiple savings goals. I also like the visual. So I've got all these graphs in here and they will all automatically update as you enter in your savings that you're putting in there. You can easily track your goal versus your actual. It's not just numbers on a piece of paper. It's got the visual aspect as well. I really like the automatic formulas, um, which Excel will just do it all for me. So it's a lot quicker, I think, and it looks a lot um, nicer. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, which is what I'm using, these spreadsheets will also work in numbers for Mac and Google Sheets, which is basically like an online version of Excel. It's very similar um, and it's free. So, okay, the go with these spreadsheets. We've got a summary sheet here where we can see the progress for each savings goal as well as the overall. So this is the cumulative total of all three. And then how it works is we've got separate tabs for each of the savings goals and all those numbers will automatically pull through into here. So when you've entered in your actual in your um, tab, you can see it's linked by formula. It'll automatically come in here and update the graph. So for each tab, we have this um, small spreadsheet. You enter in what you're saving for and it will automatically populate in this box here. So you don't even have to retype it twice. I've got it set up with formulas, so it's really quick and easy to use. Got the start date, your goal completion date, and then it will automatically calculate how many months, fortnight, weeks, and days are left. The reason I've got all four of those timescales in there is because if you're doing budgeting, some people I find want to do it fortnightly. I like to do it monthly. Maybe you want to do it weekly. So the options all in there for you. Um, we've also got, so when I was talking about the house deposit before, maybe you're at year five of your 10 year um, total goal span. You've already saved some money. So you can enter your current balance in here and then it will automatically calculate how much is left that you need to save. Just keep in mind, if you do have a larger goal like the house deposit one, um, you will need to adjust it. So that's why I just, just focus on yearly. So even though I know you might have already saved some money towards a larger goal, just focus on what you're doing for this year. So maybe if you're starting these spreadsheets in March, already two months into the year, maybe you've already saved 2000 of your amount for this month. So I hope that makes it clear. I had a few questions about that. It's just for this year only, these spreadsheets. Uh, it's just a lot more sorry, a lot less overwhelming if you just focus on one year at a time. I think so anyway. So this is how much you need to set aside, again, yearly, monthly, fortnightly, weekly, and daily. And then as we go throughout the year, you can enter in the amount that you contributed to that goal. So this is pretty much the only section that you are actually entering anything into, apart from obviously these couple of ones here. But there's very minimal that you need to input. The spreadsheet will just calculate it automatically for you. So you can see there's the amount you contributed. If you wanted to keep a running total throughout the month, so let's say in week one you put in um, $20, you would just type equals is the uh, formula, the equal sign, and then your number, and then maybe the next week you did 400 And if you press enter, that will automatically keep it uh, running total for you. Let's say you open up the spreadsheet again, you come back week three, you just type in 600 or whatever your savings was. Um, so you can do it that way if you don't want to go, okay, right at the end and then dump a whole deposit in. If you want to track it, if you do do weekly budgeting, um, that's another option. Savings goal number two is just the same thing. And then number three. So you probably noticed I have color coded them from light to dark blue. That all carries through to here. And if you just saw the graph move, then that's because we updated those numbers you can see it's in here and it's updated up here as well. There's our 1020 and that's all color coded um, also. And you can see the goal versus the actual. And then these totals here will automatically pull for each of the goals into an overall. So you can see that we actually, if this was a true scenario, we actually didn't meet the goal because it was only 50 and the goal was 77. You can also put some notes in here as well. Maybe you had an unexpected expense and that's why you didn't meet your goal for that month. You can also um, just, I don't know, get an overall picture, see how you are partway through. You don't have to wait until the end of the year and go, oh, okay, that was 
I didn't have really good savings habits. It's because it's monthly. I find it reinforces, okay, you need to save. You can't just like ignore it because you're supposed to be updating this monthly and it's just like a live thing as you go, which I think is better than just looking at the past. You're sort of looking ahead at the same time as you're tracking what you've done to date as well. Um, so what else did I want to say? Probably not too much, to be honest. They're just pretty simple savings goal spreadsheets. Um, oh, yes. So this one here in the goal section, it's actually calculated for you by formula. Um, I've done it monthly. That's personally what I prefer. Um, so that's why in here it'll calculate the monthly repayment or payment that you need to make towards that goal. And we see the 5,000 here, and then that populates in the 5,000 over here. So that's where all of that comes from, if you're wondering. You can override the formula if you want to, but it's supposed to be automatic. So just keep in mind, if you start deleting formulas, it can break the spreadsheets. So I do not recommend doing that. Um, so that's it for these spreadsheets. I use these in conjunction with my um, investment property spreadsheet. Then I also have my... Um, business income and expenses spreadsheet. I have my personal budgeting spreadsheet. Um, there's like mileage as well. I have travel planning spreadsheet. I've got spreadsheets for a lot of things. I've done a lot of switching from paper into spreadsheets just mainly for the numbers side of planning things because of all automatic formulas and how easy it is to use um, Excel. And if you wanted to use um, Google Sheets, it can be accessed from anywhere. So if you're trying to do this savings goal with a partner or you want to um, check if you're trying to keep your friend accountable, for example, you want to see their savings goals, um, you can share the link with other people so multiple people can access the same spreadsheet and you can access it if you're on the go on your phone or your iPad or wherever. You don't only have to be on a computer. So Google Sheets is really good for that. So if you want a copy of these savings um, spreadsheets, the link will be down below. They're available in my Etsy shop and then also my online shop as well. If there's any other budgeting or really any type of spreadsheet that you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments down below.